Steinway B, the first treble section is a little weak. The attack is uh, not very strong and the volume envelope drops kind of quickly. The high treble is good and the mid range is good. So this area in here has some weakness. And we're gonna find out if the strike point or the striking distance a change in that might help it out a little bit. So this is already set up here for note 88 and these notes for a good tone with the screw in the cheek block. So the cheek blocks are in and the action is set where it needs to be. I put this tape here, I'll take the cheek blocks out And I'll play the note, I'll, I'll use this G here. And as I'm listening, I'll stop where the best tone is for attack. And when the tone was found for the attack, then I marked the position of the action. Now, if we push the action back in to its correct position, install the cheek blocks. And then measure the distance. In front of the action to the mark is about two, two and a half, millimeters. The F is about three. And I've already changed the F. I have not changed the E or the G. And you can notice the tone difference in the attack. There's a noise there because I pushed the back check back. So because the uh, hammer shank was sticking out of the back of the hammer. better sustain and better attack on the F. So these two notes are a little choked. It's another way of putting it. The volume gets choked off, whereas the F stays up a little higher. I've moved the F hammer forward three millimeters and down here on the first note that seemed to need some change. I move the hammer towards the player one millimeter. The D up here will need to be moved forward one millimeter, just like the C down here. And then after I move the D forward one millimeter, I'll create an arc so that we go from one millimeter to three, out again to one millimeter. So we'll have a little bit of an arc in the hammer line which will accommodate for a better tone. The action will have to be re-regulated in those areas on those hammers. Use a heat gun to loosen, soften the blue collar, and warm up the wood. the hammer cut off the old collar remove the glue from the shank No 
drip glue. Now we'll measure our one millimeter of movement on the hammer. And reinstall it into the action. Double check the measurement. So now the C and the D and the F are moved. One millimeter, one millimeter, three millimeters in the direction of the player. Now we'll create an arc from this hammer to that one and we'll taper the distance as well from this hammer to that hammer and we'll have an, a slight arc in the hammer line. At this point I've changed from the D down to the F and you can see the difference. So there's a taper up to the F, three millimeters down to one. I think I went uh, two or three, one millimeter, then I went to one and a half, to one and three quarters, to two, to two and a half, up to the F. Tried to taper it. A lot of it was done by eye as well. So this change here from one millimeter to three will be, need to be more abrupt. So I would probably go one and a half, uh, two, two and a quarter, two and a half, something like that. All of the hammers are reset now. So you can see that there's a slight arc in the hammer line, not real obvious. Put the action back in place with the cheat blocks. and give it a try. At this point, all of the uh, keys are regulated in this section again, and the uh, hammers are filed a little bit. I did add some lacquer and a few hammers to bring up the uh, tone a little bit, and voiced it through this area, and tried to make an even transition from this section to that section, voicing so that the piano matches itself as best as it can be. So now in this section we have uh, better sustain and the end volume envelope doesn't drop off. If you notice, if I, I'll play this D minor chord. And 
we can see that the volume stays at an even level after the attack. For the most part, it doesn't drop down like it used to, and there's a better attack sound as well. has more power. I added some lacquer to the sides of the bass hammers. It was lacking power. Mm -hmm. 